Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up your grid using Singularity uh, and Omega 4. And now the grid framework is Singularity. In Omega 3, we had all of that being accomplished through a visual interface where we're assigning regions to different uh, column spans and stuff like that. And it was sort of taking care of not only the grid part, but also the responsive part for us. In Omega 4, this is broken up. We now have two separate uh, things controlling both of those. We now have breakpoints, which is a SAS extension for media queries controlling your responsiveness. And we have uh, singularity controlling the grid. Now, these extensions are created by Team SAS, and they're both awesome. They're both really great. In fact, I've gotten so used to using Singularity, uh, it's pretty much the only grid framework I'm touching right now. I'm having a hard time even thinking about using websites where you're defining things like call span one in uh, the HTML. Because the way you work this grid framework is with mixins in your CSS. You're basically throwing a mixin into your uh, style declaration, and that's assigning that uh, element a part on your grid. You're also configuring your grid through variables in SAS. So let's get started. We have our variables folder here, and there is no grid uh, partial. And that's really just because they don't want to lock you into using it. However, uh, pretty much one of the first things I do is create a grid partial in this. So I'm going to say in here, variables, new file. Uh, notice how I right click on the variables folder and say new file. And we're going to say underscore grid dot CSS, just like that. Now, the things that you want to define for your grid to get going, you really just have to say how many columns there are really and you say uh okay we can say dollar sign and you say grids and we're setting this variable and this is how many columns we want to have so if you're used to a 12 column grid here you can just say 12 and then semicolon and this is going to set your grid at 12 columns likewise if you had 16 it would be 16. What it doesn't set is your total width or your container or anything like that. This isn't assuming a 960 container. It's not assuming any container. And that's why Singularity is so excellent. Because this 12 grids, this is going to adapt to whatever container size you have, these 12 columns. And likewise, uh, gutters you define as by saying your gutters and then colon and then what your gutters width are. You could say, I want my gutters to be 15 pixels, right? Uh, but that's not going to be great because let's say your container is uh, really small, right? Your container gets really small. Your gutters are still 15 pixels. I mean, perhaps the design calls for that. In that case, go, go to town. You can define a fixed gutter width here. But another way you could do it is saying a fraction here. And this is saying that the gutters are one third of the size of a column. So now if we save this, this is our grid. Our grid is set up. So now let's come to our styles right here and let's actually start adding things to the grid. So I'm going to say that we have the, uh, the sidebar. The first sidebar is going to be three columns and the second sidebar is going to be nine columns. Actually, where's the content in this site? Let's actually add a uh, add some content here and let's go to a page. Let's go to basic page and we're gonna say test page one. This way we can have it be more of like a main content sort of thing. And now I'm just gonna drop some hipster ipsum in here. Let's just save this page. Okay, so we have our main content area right here and we have our first sidebar. So let's inspect this to get some classes here. So our content is going to be uh, in this L content. And so we can say this class of L content, we want this to be nine columns and we want it to start at the uh, fourth column, right? Well, let's actually do the sidebar first. We can say, let's close this. Let's grab the, uh, the class is L region sidebar first, okay, and so we want to say that this uh, is going to include a grid span. So we're going to say include 
Notice how we're doing this through mixins, and the mixin is grid hyphen span. And now these are mixins that uh, Singularity provides for you. And we could say that this is going to start um, in the first column and it's going to span three columns. So it's going to span three comma start in the first one. So the first variable it takes is how many columns it spans. And the second variable it takes is uh, where it starts. Now we want to use the same mixin for our content and let's paste this in here and we want to start this at the fourth column and we want this to go nine columns. Keep in mind we have a 12 column grid so 9 plus 3 is 12 and let's save this. Now let's check out our CSS really quick and you can see not only is it defining percentages for everything, uh, it, it's having really precise percentages, so it's doing all this crazy math for us. Stuff that you would probably not want to do by hand, right? So, uh, of course, my page crashed here. You might see that if you're using inspect element and live reload. So, okay, so let's refresh our page, and you'll now see that we have these two very distinct columns. In fact, if we, you know, shrink the page here, Everything's changing from the uh, the gutter to the column widths. It's all remaining in percentages. And that was uh, really with just two lines of code here. So let's come back to our styles. We gave it a grid span here and a grid span here. The reason why this is excellent is because we didn't have to go into HTML and say, hey, this is you know nine columns and this is three columns and whatever. It doesn't even matter. Uh, if we wanted to change it really quickly, we could say that this starts on the first column and uh, this one starts on the 10th column. And let's refresh our page. And now it just totally swapped the grid. Now it looks like there's some other stuff going on here. It's probably because this region debug is stuff on and there's no content here. We're also probably needing a clear fix somewhere here uh, because these things are being taken out of the flow of the document here. That's probably why this powered by Drupal and the footer is pushed way up here. Uh, but that's all things that we're going to solve by having access to the layout files, right? Because we're going to have access to the actual HTML when we start creating layouts. So again, uh, this is like totally fluid. And that's that's absolutely excellent. I mean, what if you didn't want it to be completely fluid? I mean, you could say that our, let's inspect this and let's grab one of the larger containers here. Let's say, not the body, let's say that the page container, let's say that this has a max width of, um, let's say that this has a width of 960 pixels, right? And now our grid is going to, uh, actually let's center that margin zero auto. Okay, cool. I'll come back here and our page is automatically going to be uh, 960. It doesn't look 960 because I have it blown up really huge, but here's it smaller. So our page is now at 960. It's fixed. Uh, this isn't going to change. Our, even though our grid's still done in percentages, it's not you know adjusting or anything like that because this grid is adjusting to the size of its container. So the excellent part about all of this is once we get into breakpoints, which we're going to do in the next video, you can change your grid at different base breakpoints. You can change the container size, you can change the grid spans, you can change the gutters, you can change how many columns, all at different breakpoints. So it's an extremely flexible grid framework along with breakpoints and it allows you to use some insane, quick uh, content uh, laying out like you've never seen before. I mean, this is four lines of code here and it's doing extremely complex math to have this layout perfect. So this is a introduction to Singularity and by no means is this the definitive course on Singularity. There is a lot out there. In fact, I'm going to do an entire series on Singularity and breakpoints and SAS extensions the moment I finish this Omega series. So if you want to dive further into the cool stuff we can do with this, we'll go into it in depth. Um, but for right now, this should get you accomplishing everything you need to create your basic grids.
So remember, define your grid columns, define your gutters, and then just start using these mix-ins. Check out uh, Singularities uh, Wiki for more information. There's tons of information there. In the next video, we're going to start talking about breakpoints and get you uh, on your way to making a fully responsive website. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please hit us up in the comments. Hit us up on Facebook, anywhere, you know. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. Bye.